Every day, people in the Kentucky State Capitol walk by this plaque that displays the names of men and women who have provided outstanding public service to the citizens of Kentucky. These are the people who have won the Vic Heller Jr. Award. The award is named in honor of a longtime director of the Legislative Research Commission who played an instrumental role in the modernization of the legislative institution and nonpartisan staffing. Vic Heller who passed away in 1996, was known for his wit, appreciation of history, enthusiasm for civic engagement, and dedication to public service. The three finalists for the 2017 Vic Heller Jr. Award are Sheila Mason, the LRC's Legislative Intern Coordinator and Legislative Record Compiler, Anita Muckleroy, who served as the LRC's Assistant Director for Legislative Services before she passed away last month after a brief illness. And Joel Redding, Chief Information Officer for the LRC. You know, sitting here in this office every day, the exact same office that Vic Heller Jr. used, is a daily reminder to me of the legacy that he left behind. It is one of my great pleasures in this role to be involved in the awarding of the Vic Heller Jr. Award. This year, our selection committee waded through many applications, uh, and that selection committee, which was chaired by Vic's widow, Ellen Hellard, uh, had a difficult time narrowing the field. But we eventually settled on three finalists, Joel Redding, Anita Muckleroy, and Sheila Mason. All three have performed extraordinary service for the people of the Commonwealth of Kentucky and for those of us here at the Legislative Research Commission. It is my great pleasure to announce that the 2017 winner of the Vic Heller Jr. Award is Sheila Mason. Sheila, you started here at LRC back in 1980. What were your first impressions of the Legislative Research Commission? One of the things that really struck me when I got when I arrived at LRC was 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 how sharp everyone was. I mean, th th these were some sharp minds. Uh, and I'm talking about staff and legislators also, but I'm, I'm concentrating on staff now. Uh, I, was, I was not overwhelmed, but I was very impressed by the opportunity to learn so much from these folks who uh, were so diverse in their backgrounds. You know, Sheila, one of the great things about this award is the personal relationship that you had with Vic Hellard. What do you think he would think about you being awarded the Vic Hellard Jr. Award this year? Well, I think just the fact that there's a, a award being given annually in his name would please him. But, you know, I look at the folks who have received this award, every one of them, and I think including me, he would be very happy. As you're sitting here today, what is your vision for the future of LRC? You know, Vic made us feel that we had to, to be our best. We had to present the best, we had to do our best for the sake of the legislative branch of government. And Vic had a way of instilling this intense loyalty in, in the staff. But it wasn't loyalty to him, it really was loyalty to the legislative process. And uh, so I hope that LRC staff, regardless of how big this agency may get, uh, that, that we never lose touch with the fact that, you know, we really need to work together. We really make each other better if we approach what we need to do in that respect. A reception honoring Mason and the other award finalists will be held later this month in the state capitol. On March 29th, members of the Senate and House will each welcome Mason to their chambers for special presentations recognizing her as the 2017 recipient. Thank you, Sheila, for all the outstanding services you've provided to our Commonwealth and congratulations on being named the 19th recipient of the Vic Heller Jr. Award.